Hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for a speed build. So, um, I haven't named this build yet, but it reminds me, and the inspiration is kind of like a farmhouse. It's kind of like a traditional farmhouse. It's not really a farmhouse, but it, that was, I don't know. It just, it reminds me of one. It's red. I think it's really cute. Um, but let me tell you something about this build. It was a struggle. Actually, okay, building the house, like this part right here, was really easy. I was going off of a floor plan, of course, and it just it surprised me at how well it just it flowed. I didn't get confused any. I didn't have to, like, switch, like, different sizes to the rooms. It just it just flowed. It was so, I was like, wow, this is great. I'm getting so good at building. I'm just getting faster and faster. Then when I got inside... I struggled, and I do this often, okay, I'm sure maybe some of you can relate, and if you do, please let me know that I'm not the only one. I get so excited about how the exterior is going, and I'm like on a roll, just wanting to build and all that, but then sometimes I get inside, and it's not that like I lose my inspiration, but I don't know what to do as far as like the interior, and it frustrates me <laughs> like it really does and so in this build once I get into the interior you're gonna know what I'm talking about I had in my mind this type of family I wanted this house to be for and the style I wanted to go for see I imagined it being for a small family because it's a two-story house, and it is three-bedroom, two-bath. The rooms are kind of small. The space is functional, but, you know, it's a smaller house. But once I started, like, furnishing it, the price kind of went up. Like, I wasn't thinking this was a starter home, but as far as, like, it being under 20,000 simoleons, but it being a, a starter home for a family, if that makes sense, you know, like a, a middle class or you know, even possibly low-income family that, you know, I mean, you can afford it. It's, I, I don't know what the bills are, <laughs> but uh, it's, I think it, it turned out to be like 80,000 simoleons, which is not bad, okay? It's under 100,000, so I mean, it's not too expensive, and I built it on this lot in um, Newcrest because, <clears throat> like I said, I was going for like it being a smaller type house and lot, so I wanted the backyard to be a little bit small or whatnot, so... Anyways, the style of the house that I was kind of imagining was new construction, which is weird. You're probably like, what does that mean? I don't know what I mean by that, <laughs> but I knew that, like, I wanted it to be hardwood floors. And I wanted, you know, white walls, which is kind of like a farmhouse vibe to me, which was kind of what I was going for. You'll probably recognize that when I go into the interior. But let me tell you, I was very, very indecisive <laughs> in this build. So, um, yeah, bear with me because you're going to see me change the color swatches to a lot of different things. <laughs> and uh, I actually end up changing a lot of the landscaping I did right here. I hate landscaping. If you've watched any of my builds, you know that me, Carissa, Kari, Sims, is not a fan of landscaping. I'm getting a little bit better, but... I don't know, and that's why you always see me <laughs> go into the gallery as if like I'm saving it to the gallery because I want to see what it looks like as far as the landscaping in the house from the exterior as if, you know, it was on the gallery. I want it to look presentable. People would be like, oh, that looks like a nice house. So that's why I do that. I do it often, so just don't mind that. I do it so much, it's hard for me to edit it out. I'm just kind of like, whatever. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> the interior of the house, um, like I said, Whew, I'm out of breath, y'all. This pregnancy, I'm sorry. Bear with me. <laughs> um, I used a lot of closets, which is something that I usually don't do in my builds. But I did cut out the part where I was doing the floor plan just because I wanted this to be like... I didn't want it to be too long of a, a video. So, yeah. Here I am changing the color swatches. But I did end up keeping white walls. I do change the wallpaper to something different, you'll see. But I was really going for like the dark wood and the white wood mix, which I don't know. It turned out nice. Um, I'm a fan of the house, but it's not my favorite. And I think the reason why I say that is because I struggled so much getting a flow going. Sometimes when I build, I, I do that. I, I, 
it takes me a second to figure out what color scheme I want to go for and then once I get that figured out I, I kind of flow throughout the rest of the build with this one it was a struggle because I have been trying so hard you guys not to be so OCD when it comes to mix matching furniture and you know having white wood and dark wood and light wood because other people make it look so good and i don't want to be so anal and be so matchy matchy so i tried to mix it up a little bit so here i am <laughs> changing this freaking rug here like 50 times i think i struggle more with the living room like this is the one of the first rooms i furnished so i was like okay i've got to get this flow in here so <laughs> bear with me but i did want to give it like a pop of color since there is so much white in this house. The walls are white. The tile is white. I even kept the white wallpaper all the way throughout the house. So even the upstairs bedrooms, while, you know, the comforters and the kids' room and everything has that pop of color, there's still the white walls. And that's what I mean by, like, new construction. It just looks like this house was, you know, fairly new construction, obviously. Like, it was just built. And I don't know. I just feel like the white walls and dark hardwood floors are in right now at least down here where i live most of the new construction or when they renovate houses and put them back up on the market that's mostly what people are interested in that's i don't know that's like the style elsewhere but the white walls and the hardwood floors are very clean a new look that's really what i was going for if that makes sense but yeah so the family i imagine living here like i said is a young family um like a young mom and dad and i furnished the upstairs bedroom for a child a male child and then there is a toddler girl's room um and i imagine that the dad is the one that works don't know really what you know his career is i didn't like really get into that much detail but i did imagine that the mom is a stay-at-home mom so um I really wanted the house to look a little bit cluttered and lived in so I used a little bit more clutter than what I usually do which was another thing I'm trying to work on because sometimes I get so OCD about things I'm like when I'm doing it like when I'm watching other people clutter it looks so good but then when I try to do it I'm like oh god I can't I can't stand it it's just too much like why does it not look good when I do it so I tried to do a little bit of clutter especially in the kitchen on the cabinets um I don't know I think okay here, bear with me. I'm trying to explain my reasoning. I think the reason why I'm so OCD about it is because I have been living in a house <laughs> where it's very kept, it's kept very clean. Okay, They're very OCD, and everything has to be like clean. You don't leave stuff on the cabinets. You clean up after yourself, and I think that's why it, it bothers me so much in the sense that I try to clutter it. But, don't get me wrong, I think it looks very nice. I think it looks lived in. And since she is a stay-at-home mom and there is a toddler in the house and a child, I imagine that, yes, she's going to tend to the house. She's a stay-at-home mom. But at the same time, she's there all the time, you know, with the toddler. So it looks lived in. And I think it turned out really, really nice. Um, I did, in the backyard, once I get to the backyard, I put the little flower arranging bench work table thing, you know, out there on the back porch with some, like, plants i imagine that you know she wouldn't be necessarily into gardening i didn't put any planter boxes or anything outside in the backyard but i did give her that flower arranging table because i imagine you know that she would do that on the side be a little bit crafty and you know make some flower arrangements and sell them for extra money since she is a stay-at-home mom so yeah i wanted to give her a passion and i just imagine you know she was crafty like i wish we had sewing machines or something like that in the sims 4 which is like a really like cool hobby i think like especially for like moms like you know moms like to make bows and make outfits for their kids i definitely see this mom being like that but like i said they're a very young couple and that's kind of like a young family and this is like a little starter home that they have it's definitely not the biggest and upstairs which is something i usually don't do there's only one bathroom there's a bathroom downstairs which does have a tub and a shower and everything so there's two bathrooms so plenty of space for a four bedroom or not four bedroom four family home to shower and you know have all their needs met and taken care of and they're not like fighting and waiting over the shower and the bathroom you know what i'm saying but usually in new modern not modern but like traditional homes that are built like especially around here where i live there's an ensuite bathroom for the master 
and this house and the floor plan that I was following did not have an ensuite for the bedroom upstairs. Like I said, there is a bathroom and it's a very spacious bathroom upstairs, don't get me wrong, but it's not ensuite. It's shared by everybody upstairs and the build or floor plan that I was actually following, this house was only two bedrooms and the space that I transformed into a toddler room was kind of like an open space area, I guess maybe like not like a little hmm, a loft area or a study area i'm not really sure what you would use it for but i thought that was kind of like silly because you know, i mean you have the living room downstairs and this just reminded me of like a cute little family home i was like no we need to make this to another bedroom so don't get me wrong the toddler room is very very small and i think the reason why it's so small and the reason why most of the rooms are so small is because I did cut out a little bit of space to add closets. But, you know, when you add closets, it's kind of like, I mean, you're already using, which I only use the two by two, like, you know, the, the little closet. So it's not like I'm using the huge closet. So I'm taking up as much space as I would if I was putting a dresser. So if there's a closet, I didn't put a dresser, but I don't know. I just think it looks more realistic just because, you know, closets are something that most of us have in our bedroom so I've been trying to incorporate closets more I don't know I just think they look so nice and it's something that I've never really done in my builds but since I've been watching a lot of speed builds and trying to gain some inspiration I've seen a lot of people do that so I copied <laughs> um, but anyways yeah I think the house is really cute and I hope you guys like it and I don't know what is going on with the roofs right there I don't know if that's a glitch but I had to like move them down for some reason it was cutting through the the roof or not the roof the floor which kind of like I think that's a glitch because I've never had that happen before but thank goodness all I had to do was kind of like move it down a little bit and it solved the problem but anyways y'all I am so out of breath it's a struggle I'm telling y'all <laughs> no. like I keep coughing I'm so sorry I'm like coughing into the mic and I can't breathe it's not like I've just been running two miles which I've literally done nothing but sit here I just ate so <laughs> that might be why I'm out of breath <laughs> but anyways yeah so this is the master bedroom like I said it's a little bit small I tried not to clutter it up too much because like in these small rooms I don't want to use too much clutter because it's so overwhelming especially when there's so much clutter you can't even like move around and your sims can't even function um, but this house should be functionable. I haven't tested it yet, but I will test it before I upload it to the gallery. And just make sure you have move objects on. Like, it's not necessary, but it, it might be, you know. <laughs> and here is the child's room, which I think turned out so stinking cute. I love how this room turned out. Um, this room should be perfectly functional. But once you get into the toddler's room and one little corner by the by the um what am I trying to say closet yeah there you go I put a bookshelf and I actually put the decorative little toy box you know has a toy spilling out it's not functional but it's just you know for clutter detail I think it's so cute I love to add that in children's rooms I actually pushed that in front of the bookcase so you can't get to the bookcase but who cares because toddlers aren't going to read out of the bookshelf anyways they're you know, they play with toys so i wanted to have that illusion <laughs> with the clutter that they have a lot of toys in their room because it is such a small little room but i still think it turns out really really nice but yeah so whew, i think i'm gonna stop talking about the build for a second oh my god like i sound so obnoxious because i'm trying to catch my breath but anyways you guys it is Friday that you're watching this currently Thursday I'm doing this voiceover so update on my pregnancy I am officially in my second trimester and I am so excited you guys I don't know what it is about the second trimester I'm just so excited because everybody has been telling me that it is the easiest three months of your pregnancy so pretty much everything that you're gonna do for this baby that involves energy you better make sure you get it all prepared and done because when the third trimester comes you are huge you're ready to get that baby out of you and for me oh my gosh it's gonna be in the freaking summertime i live in alabama <laughs> do you know how, lower alabama so do you know how hot it gets down here like we don't even have winter we have you know a cold day every now and then after it rains all day long in the winter so that the next day will be like freezing cold but the next day it's like 70 degrees it's so confusing, so annoying, but anyways, yeah, I'm going to be miserable. <laughs> so, I'm already, I'm just excited for the second trimester. One, 
because we find out what the gender is going to be in about two and a half weeks, which is crazy. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited, so excited, so excited to find out what it is. The spoiling is going to begin. Huh. I'm going to spend all my money on baby clothes and stuff, but it's worth it. It's okay. It's fine. I'm already, you know, looking up stuff I need. Like, I'm in my second trimester. I need a pregnancy pillow. I need this. I need that. <laughs> so, I'm trying to, like, pre-plan everything for the baby's arrival. You know, trying to figure out what I'm going to do. Trying to get, like, all the mommy advice I can get. <laughs> so, yeah, that's how the pregnancy's going. Once again, thank you. Ow, I just gave myself a paper cut. <laughs> um, thank you guys for being so supportive and, like, caring. Like I I've said before, it just makes me so happy. I know apparently like right now there's some drama going on in the Sims community. I'm kind of like ignorant on what that drama is. I don't really see much of it because if I see any negativity on my timeline on Twitter, I unfollow that person. And if it's somebody that's constantly retweeting negative stuff, I unfollow them too because I just, I don't want to see negative stuff. I try to be a positive person. I don't like toxic people. I don't like negativity. And if anybody's negative to any of my videos or any of my content, you know, it kind of hurts my feelings. I'm human. It's like, okay, really? But I try my hardest not to be rude back. I try not to even really acknowledge it because... You know, people are just trying to get a reaction out of you when they're being negative. So that is my advice to all simmers that are watching this channel, <laughs> my channel or this video. And if you have a sim channel yourself, do not worry about the haters or people who are negative. Keep doing you. Keep enjoying the game. This is your channel. It's your content. You do what you like to do. And if people don't like it, they don't have to watch. And if they want to dislike your video because they don't like it, well, I mean, whatever. I mean, they're still giving you a reaction, which is still helping you grow, you know? I just don't understand why people are so negative and mean all the time. My mom has just always taught me that if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. And, you know, I don't get why people think that they can, they just need to voice their opinion about everything. It's in a, they'll, they'll argue, people will rant, sorry. People will argue with you about your opinion and their opinion. It's not, it's an opinion. It's not a fact. So why are you trying to convince me of, of your opinion? It's, this is my opinion. It's not a fact. Like, if it's a fact, educate me. I want to know what's right and what's wrong. But no, this is my way of thinking, my opinion you have yours great fine why are you arguing with me like what i just don't get people sometimes so that's my little rant of the day but this video is wrapping up we are doing the backyard which like i said i struggled so much with the backyard the landscaping mm. i'm not a fan of it i'm really not but it's such a small space and i really wanted it to you know look like it was furnished for kids which is why i put the swing set and the basketball court and then I gave the fam like a little grill out area but yeah it's decent I like it it's a cute build I can definitely see myself using it but anyways if you like it be sure to give this video a big thumbs up it is available for download on the gallery so go download it subscribe if you have not and with that being said I'm so out of breath I will talk to you guys later bye